Hello everybody. In a previously published instruction Fabric 3 cube, we used 18 balloons to make one cube. I mentioned then that uh, there is a way to make the same kind of cube using just 12 balloons. And that's exactly what we are going to make today. Inflate all 12 balloons leaving about 7 inch flat tails. Basically we are going to work in the same way as we did previously, making the cube. This time I don't want to make any complicated color patterns. Uh, for this uh, sculpture we are going to twist all bubbles of the same about 1 inch size. And we are going to use each balloon to twist 18 bubbles. As you can see I have made 3 pairs of uh, blue balloons. I am going to use them to make a piece of fabric, a rectangular shape, with sides 6 by 18 bubbles. From this piece of fabric we will make 3 sides of cube. Uh, the cube is supposed to have total of 6 sides. All 6 sides of our cube uh, will have square shape with sides 6 by 6 bubbles. As you can see we are making relatively small size sculpture. It would take total of 216 bubbles to make it. And it would take time to make and connect so many bubbles. Here we already have made the 6 bubbles of the first row and now we are working on the second row. We work in the same way as we did in previously published instruction. You should be very familiar with it by now. I work this uh, sculpture using very simple color pattern. You can and uh, very welcome to use different color balloons to make color patterns for your cube. In previously published instructions we discussed uh, quite a bit uh, different color patterns. If you have any questions about that you can always ask me in comments or email me directly. In this example we are going to work the rest of the blue balloons in exactly the same way to make rectangular shape uh, 6 by 18 bubbles. Let's talk a bit about the cube. Each cube consists of uh, 6 sides, 6 squares. In our example we are making uh, each side of the cube uh, 6 by 6 bubbles. To make larger size cube we can uh, make bigger number of uh, bubbles on each side of the square. For example we can make squares with sides 8 by 8 bubbles. Then it would take uh, 16 balloons to make the cube with these sides. Three squares connected together in rectangular shape with sides 8 by 24 bubbles. It is possible to make this size rectangular shape using just 8 balloons. However to make uh, even larger size rectangular shape we will have to use additional balloons. Usually I make cubes the same size as uh, in this example with uh, square sides 6 by 6 bubbles. Generally I use this kind of sculptures to play games. We can use cube instead of ball to play any indoor games. The sculpture of cube is much lighter and not so bouncy as a ball. Altogether it makes it very safe to play indoor games. It is very hard to break anything in an apartment with a balloon sculpture. You can play many different games with balloons. You can find description of uh, some games on my blog. All links uh, you may find uh, on my website fidui.com. Also I want to remind you that uh, we can use the same 260s balloons to make balls. In previous instructions we have made a ball using 3 balloons. And also we use more balloons to make balls. Links to all instructions are available on my website fidui.com. Here we have already made a rectangular shape with uh, sides 6 by 18 bubbles. Cut off the rest of the balloons, tie off the ends. Now we are going to make uh, the same size rectangular piece using uh, different color 6 balloons. Find the middle of the long side of our rectangle. I tie nozzles of the first two yellow balloons between the 9th and the 10th blue bubbles. The other two pairs of yellow balloons we will attach on uh, both sides of um, the first pair of yellow balloons. Let's tie nozzles of the second pair of yellow balloons uh, between the 11th and 12th blue bubbles. As you can see we work this sculpture in almost the same way as we did the previous uh, 
cube in previously published instruction. Also in the previously published instruction, uh, we have made two cubes. One of those cubes we made uh, using additional bubbles for the corners of the cube. Additional bubbles makes uh, our job connecting sides of the cube much easier. And here we tie in the nozzles of the third pair of yellow balloons between the seventh and the eighth uh, blue bubbles. In this instruction, I'm not going to use any additional bubbles to make the corners. Of course, you can work with additional bubbles if you want to. For those of you who is uh, curious about learning how to use additional bubbles for connections between sides, uh, you can always check the previously published instruction. All right, and here we are making the first row of yellow rectangular shape. Now we're making the corner by connecting yellow balloon to the blue balloon. Remember, every time when we got to the end of the yellow row on either side, we have to connect the yellow balloon to the blue balloon. It's important. That is how we connect all sides of our cube. Here we're connecting a left corner on my side of our sculpture. And now we work the second yellow row in the same fashion as we did the first row. We can use this sculpture to hide some little items inside of the sculpture. Of course, not at this point, but uh, a bit later when we will get to the last side, last uh, square of the cube. And we are working the rest of the sculpture in exactly the same way as we did before. I think hiding uh, something inside of the cube is a quite interesting way to give a birthday gift, for example. A gift hiding in a balloon box. Of course, you have to make sure you don't put any sharp or heavy items inside of the balloon. Our sculpture already is taking the cube dimensions. You can already see the corners and the edges of the cube. Okay, it may happen sometimes uh, that you start uh, making balloon sculpture and notice that uh, you don't uh, have enough uh, flat tail left. It does uh, happen quite often, not a big deal. Just work the balloon as much as you can and then uh, cut off the rest of the balloon and attach new balloon. I think this way it's a better way to handle the problem than work the entire sculpture from the very beginning. All right, here we have made the first yellow square and now we work on the second yellow square at the same time attaching it to the sides of the blue rectangle. Remember to make corners and connect sides of squares to each other. That is good speed, no need to slow down, keep working on. There are many different ways we can use this scoop. We can use it instead of a ball to play different games. We can use it as a gift box. And also we can use the cube to make many different uh, sculptures. Uh, you have to always remember that any complicated sculpture is made of uh, something much simpler, the basic forms. We can use a cube to build um, different furniture. We can use this size cube to make dollhouse. Though so we have to make windows and doors. I don't have time to do it today, but in one of the future instructions we definitely will make a dollhouse using cube as a base for the sculpture. Back to our sculpture, we're almost done with the last side of the cube. It is a proper time to put any gift inside if you want to. Once we connect all sides of the cube, uh, we cut off the rest of the yellow balloons, tie off the ends. You can actually hide them between uh, bubbles of the sculpture. You can use the rest of the balloon as a handle or uh, to attach it to other sculptures if you making larger size sculpture. We can use scissors to trim off the ends of the balloons. You can stretch the cube slightly to fix all bubbles in proper positions. This sculpture is uh, surprisingly durable. You can sit on top of it. It will hardly would break. All right, congratulations. You have made a cube using 12 balloons with a square size six by six bubbles. You can transform it in some kind of armchair or a roof for the dollhouse. Alright, that's all for now. Have fun and happy twisting!